Mayor. Just with my story, like I said, everybody's got a story. I do a lot of motivational speaking at schools and juvenile halls. You know, I take my time to drive hours and fly hours just to give back to the kids, because it's about giving back. And I go to juvenile halls because honestly, there's so many kids in jail under 18 years old, and they need knowledge, and they need um, people to really teach them about the real world, instead of gang banging and racism and all that type of stuff. And um, that's what I wake up for right now, motivational speaking and speaking to the kids in jail. And um, I'm in the major business with the majors, Epic Records, um, Def Jam Records, Warner Brother Records, and I deal with a lot of independent artists. And any new independent artists that need to know anything, you know, hit me up. I'm humble. I I'll answer any question. I love it. I love giving back. And I got a radio show weekly on, on the music industry. It's about the Steve Lovell Educational Series. And we just bring on different executives. I would love to have Jerry and Violet on my show. Violet, were you on my show yet? No. But you're on my list. And I have major A-list people that come on. Not celebrities and not artists, real people. Just people in the industry that put so much in behind the scenes that made these artists careers. Because honestly, an artist is great, but without the artist, and I mean, without the artist first, yes, and the music, it starts with the music, it's people like us that help the artists, the booking agent, the manager, the lawyer, the business manager, the record promoter, the label. You can't do it by yourselves. Together, everybody achieves more. That's what team stands for. Together, everybody achieves more. And um, like I said, I'm just blessed to stay relevant. And um, someone, uh, I'm really humbled that he took time to come out of the studio because I'm never obsessed with nobody. But there's a gentleman that walked in and he's, I'm, I'm, I'm old to be part of him. I went through Jamie Aller, another person who brought me man. And I feel like this guy is, um, blows Kanye West away, spits like Common, produces like Pharrell with a twist of Timberland. And you guys should know him, his name is Rockstar, and he's right there. His name is Rockstar. And, and we're Trust of uh, Usher and Chris Brown. Trust me when I tell you, this kid is going to be the next. And I run around always with artists, and I always say this, with Nipsey and I as a man and Sean Kingston. They walk around, they have no clothes, they don't look right, this and that. And I say, this is the next up. I'm like, okay, Steve. For some reason, I have a gift, and it happens. Because you know what? I put my work into it. And you put what you get what you put into life. And my motto is patience and sacrifice equals success. You work hard, you get what you want. And your dreams will come true with a little luck and obviously God, because nothing's going to happen without God. And he is going to be the next. Trust me when I tell you. He's got million dollar publishing right, so, deals. All right, here I am, right? I'm here. I'm in LA. I'm based out of Nashville, Tennessee. My name is Taxi. If anyone wants to find it, anyone looking for it. I got a record that I am so confident that if you just listen, you can track one to 12 and give it a fair shake and just take a listen to it. You'll like it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm very confident in it. But uh, I'm at this point now where like, unless I have that marketing or that promotion or anything like that, or at least I can get on these tours or just get these out there, get out there, get out there. But I wish I had a plan B and a plan C. Trust me, but I have a plan B and C also. And it's rough. It's, it's just getting rougher and rougher in the music industry. But all I can honestly say is just be yourself and support yourself and work hard. Like, don't wait for no one to give you nothing. Get in the van, get in the car, get on the bicycle, and, and get out there. You're your biggest fan and supporter. So, you know, if you gotta give out flyers, you gotta give out mixtapes, you gotta get on the internet, you gotta do this, you gotta do Look, this, this right now, 30 people sitting around here, I guarantee you they're all trying to sing and rap. Imagine how many people around the world, because of the internet, are trying to do what you have to do. Please though, take my advice, have a plan B and C. But don't give up, man, please, don't give up. Because everyone I know never give up. If you give up, that means you aren't a warrior. And you gotta be a rebel and a warrior in this world, because it's, it's hard out there, all right? Two more questions, because I promise only five, because this young lady who's got so much knowledge has to speak. Yes, sir. Shout out Ohio, I lived in Cleveland for a lot of years. But um, honestly, 
just because Dallas likes one sound and Huntington likes one sound and this one likes one sound, don't care what they like. You have to stay with the sound. Create your artist, create your sound, and be who the artist is with his sound. No one knew who Tim Miller was, but now everybody loves Tim Miller. No one knew Dr. Dre was, now everybody loves Dr. Dre. My point is, whatever you're going to do, do. Don't cater to them. Meaning, they're not supposed to cater to you, but to cater to them, but be yourself. Because if an artist doesn't be himself, it's a rap, no problem saying that, is that most of your favorite rappers right now, they're a bunch of clowns to me. They claim they blood equipped or well, my real gang members that I know, and I'm not a gang member. Tell them to take the red rag out, they put it down. So you banging that, represent it. You know, there's gangster, there's rappers out here from different cities saying hey, this and that, but when they run up on some real guys, they're not who they are. They scared, but they got all you fool. They got radio fool. Music industry right now is so screwed up. The question that someone asked Jerry earlier was uh, hip hop. It comes from graffiti. It comes from Africa, Bombada, Sugar Hill Gang, and stuff like that. So, like, you're standing here and asking me, just be yourself. Let your artist be yourself. And don't do what people want. Give them what you want to give them. Because everybody wants something new all the time. If you're going to try to build your else on the radio, you're not going to make it. Like, pop music is the worst, worst ever. Because everything sounds the same. People want substance. They want Tupac. They want, they want Bruno Mars. You know what I'm saying? They want Rockstar. They want Katy Perry. They want Taylor Swift. They want Common. Because it's substance. Everybody's not, everybody's sick of the shit. It's watered down. Everybody's getting fooled. But like Jerry did also say, Jerry's the first one to me. He's a businessman. There's not many people left in the music industry who are music guys. Clyde Davis retired. A lot of these guys just do it for the business and the money, and they have nothing else to do. They have plan B and C. I don't depend on no one in life, except my team. He's going to do it on. And the A&R is going to, you know, take the beat, bring it to the artist, and try to place it. The best place right now for producers is, honestly, artist managers, artists themselves. And if you got to give it away in the beginning for a little bit of money or for free, because everybody's producing now. Um, publishing companies. Stand outside every publishing company's door, knock on the doors, Google them, and, and, and try to meet with publishing companies. I remember we used to have the cassettes. And people used to send us music to New York City because they couldn't afford to get there. Now you can send your music on it, you know, MP3 or go on YouTube and check it out. Go to publishing companies. It's the best play, place for a producer to get their music. How do you do it still get the right amount of work for all your artists? Like, how do you deal with that? I mean, I, I don't take no an answer. And I have a team. All artists have day to day people. And I, and, I, and I do what I do and then they do what they do. Because without a team, you're nothing. And it's not easy. Because I'm dealing with gangster rapper, I'm dealing with five guys, like dealing with five Jay Z's. I'm dealing with one guy who's who's lazy. I'm dealing with another guy who's in the Virgin Islands. I'm dealing with another guy who's just a workaholic. You know, so nothing's easy. Like I said, it's not 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 easy. And um, just never give up. Because I didn't give up. I'm supposed to be honestly in Queens, screwed up. I'm supposed to be in jail. But my story's crazy, but everybody has a story, you know. Like I said, I'm humble, and I never forget where I come from. So I appreciate the time. And, um, you know, man, is man here? Yes, sir. Man, come over here real quick. Just everybody see your face. Could you, you know, just say hello real quick. That, that's man right there. He signed a death hand. Signed over 16 years old. Rockstar, stand up so they know who you are. That's Rockstar. And he always came out to support the coach, you know. And I appreciate them. So, um, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Give it up for Steve O'Neill.